like there's oh, big worms. worms. Yeah, oh, big let's zoom worms. to those two worms. Okay. People are getting excited. <laughs> <laughs> two worm excitement in the control van. Even something for the biologist here. <laughs> So we see a lot of shells around these methane seep sites because a lot of these bivalves have hemosynthetic bacteria that live inside them for these bivalves to That's a different kind of bacteria. These areas. Yep. Some of them have their little feeding feathers out. Those are fantastic. That's a Is that a fly trap in there? It looks like it doesn't. <laughs> it, it does. Are those the first two worms we've seen? It is. Uh, Yep, those are the first we've seen. Except for some, yeah, <laughs> of the ones that are on everything, the yeah. <laughs> calcareous tube worms. That was a pretty healthy collection. It was. I'm trying to figure out what this is. It might be, that looks more like carbonate or something. Mm -hmm. I don't really know if that, that's like a different kind of bacteria yeah. to the left. Um, can we zoom closer on the white mat to the left? They're speculating it might be hydrates. It looks like a mat on the big uh, screen up here. Very dense mat. Yeah. yeah. It's hard to focus. At <coughs> yeah. That's usually a sign that it's a mat, too. It's <laughs> the fuzzy kind. It's very fuzzy. It's blurry in real life. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's what they mat. Okay, thank you for that zoom. And then there's that big kind of mound. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's look at that mound up close. Oh. Gosh, again, it's it's more matte. You can see the kind of hairiness as the light shifts on it. It's like a smorgasbord of bacteria types, though. They all look different. Are those tiny gastropods and kind of the... I think those little white specks might be more of those tiny, tiny gastropods. Okay, uh, Sarah just called up. She said there we're seeing two different types of mats. The stringy one we just looked at is called thioploca. So we've got a couple different types of bacteria going here. Yeah, come out. Somewhere there's got to be a big seep. There's more tube worms. It's just uh, straight yeah, ahead. Yeah, just oh, behind right this patch yeah. of clams. These guys are still alive. Yep, they look nice, plenty healthy. healthy and happy. Got some ophiroid stars mixed in. There's one guy with his and neck sticking out there. Or is at that least a one suprelid polychaete worm. Why do they group together like this? Mm, a little it's probably a little hot spot of methane, don't you think? Yeah, probably. Like a little diffusely coming out mm -hmm. of this <laughs> sediment. It's perfect. We love having options. Mm -hmm. Little baby gastropods. Tiny yeah. ones. Look like some galatheids, little ones. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, that's a really nice close-up. Is that little wisps of uh, bacterial matting? I'm seeing there, or is that something different? Um, there's speculation from the lounge downstairs that some of that may be um, some foraminifera. We can come out, take a look at what's beyond. Maybe I'd like to take a zoom on those two worms and see if they're still alive. Great. Yeah, these guys are alive. Yep, they just got their feeding polyps out. Let's move oh, uh, one what's that down in the corner? Step two zero. Which some one? kind of polychaete, the yeah. left. The yeah, you pan to the left, a little up. <laughs> oh. Hello. Oh, look at he's eating. Oh, oh that's yeah. cool. <laughs> Maybe we should go back and get some <laughs> images of that. <laughs> yeah, it looks like there's a polychaete moving around on the surface yeah. right there. So all the animals in the brain line that we're seeing down here are specially adapted to that? this type of depth and pressure. And depending on the animal, they have different adaptations, but well, all are well adjusted to the pressure. Well, anemone on it. Some Let's kind see. of worm. Like an Emertian worm. <laughs> I need you to spell everything you say. N-E-M-E-R-T-E-A-N. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> they have, uh, we called them in my invert zoology class, drop me worms, because they feed by, they have this internal barb proboscis that they shoot out. Oh, wow. That sounds kind of vicious. Mm. That's efficient. They can, uh, they can become one of the largest worms uh, in the ocean. Can we zoom in on the hole? Yep, Mary. We're gonna have a fish pop out of it like oh, we I did know, before. That's, that's kind of what that's, I was hoping uh, for. They're saying from the lounge that that's hydrate yeah. inside the hole. It's that's cool I inside like that. Yeah. As well. It's hydrate in there. Wow. Do you want to target? Yeah. Yes, please. 
They think it's hydrate that. down the ledge. That that's that top one. Yeah. Wow. We got a, uh, for the lounge downstairs and the viewers at home, we just got a uh, holy mackerel because it is impressive. <laughs> so the hydrate everyone's excited about is this kind of white ice looking. That's so the that's center really of channel one right now. So this is the methane hydrate that we've been seeking. I wonder if this hole is from some of the hydrate collapse. I bet it is. It must be a big collapse. Is that where enough bubbles come out that there's no structure supporting the ground then it will cave in? Bubbles and, and also the ice melting, the methane ice when it melts. Right. You know, it will melts into bubbles. But you could see that there's hydrate along the top of that mm -hmm. hole for sure. And all these little well, tiny little gastropods. Little gastropods, yeah. This is a really neat sight. And these clams that I can't quite bury themselves in the wall. This is where I wish we had the Herc flashlight for the <laughs> for the arm. <laughs> Looks like there's so sponge some or yeah. no, it's bacterial mat growing on the underside. This is you a really pretty spot. Yeah, it is. What are, are those corals or are those two worms? Those are two, two worms. Hmm. The mat is so thick it almost looks like sponge. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, a little fish. <laughs> a little snail fish up in the corner. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It looks like looking into the mouth of the beast. <laughs> <laughs> What are those black chunks that oh are yeah. right there? Well, do you see at the sort of top? There's the center. three mounds, and then there's these black, like spiky-looking things, right? They in look the like they might be some kind of I don't know anemone, almost or something. Yeah. Yeah. Is like it a weird anemone? I can't tell what it is. I have a little more zoom. Go ahead. It almost looks like a fish fin. It does, but doesn't it? Yeah. But oh, it might be a bivalve of some kind? Yeah, it almost looks like a mussel with yeah. weird, like... A mussel with, like, little frills. Frills. Yeah, there's another one. I I've think it's a mussel. It's a bivalve, like that. for sure. That's a bivalve. You can see the hinge on that one. Oop. Should we do, like, a slurp here? Yeah, look at that one. It's definitely a bivalve. That is odd. It's very odd. Angel wings. We can go back to the crab now. <laughs> 